Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Now, listen, the Boston Celtics suspended their head coach, Ime Udoka, for an entire year after it was discovered that he was having an affair with another member of the Boston Celtics organization. <laughs> The Brooklyn Nets continue to be one of the most laughable, dysfunctional franchises we have currently in the NBA. As you guys know, they just suspended their starting point guard, Kyrie Irving, for a minimum of five games. They also fired head coach Steve Nash. So right now they're without Kyrie and they're without a head coach. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been rumored that Ime Udoka is going to be the next head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. Nets and this left a lot of people pretty pissed off right a lot of people feel like this is way too soon for Ime Udoka to be coaching again they feel like this wasn't enough of a punishment to warrant him getting another job so soon now Jalen Rose went on ESPN and he made these comments about the Ime Udoka situation piggyback on Stephen A's point about um what Ime did we know his name uh, maybe I'm missing something as it relates to the law, but why we don't know her name? It's not like she's a minor. I feel like we should know her name publicly as well. But with that being said, I respectfully disagree with the legend Michael Wilbon. This is why. I feel like he deserves the opportunity to work again. And if he's going to work again, way, I agree with based that. on that, and if the Nets, who he's familiar with, I'm Jalen Rose, and I would like to apologize for a comment I made earlier on NBA Countdown. I question why a woman's name who had an alleged affair with Celtics head coach Ime Adoka was not made public. After an internal investigation and it was discovered that she was a subordinate to the head coach, I now understand fully why her name should not be released to the public. Now back to our NBA coach. Stupid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we all just heard Jalen Rose make his comments and then apologize. I'm pretty sure ESPN told him to apologize, which is why he apologized. Now, I know there's some of you guys who are out there who don't really understand who this woman exactly is. But ladies and gentlemen, the people on the Internet, man, they did some snooping and they found out who this young woman was. That I couldn't even put on my glasses. Now, you already know this is Nia Long, and this is her fiance or long term partner who had a report published about him today from the Boston Celtics that stated that he was engaging in inappropriate relationships with his co workers. Now, this is the woman by the name of Kathleen Lynch who is alleged to be the mistress of, um, I think his name is pronounced Emi Yudoka. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the alleged mistress. Now, according to Twitter, because everyone on Twitter is too lazy, they were not able to find any of her social media. But of course, here at the Nosy Bystanders, we were able to do so. Now, according to Twitter, which is never accurate, I went ahead and did a Wayback Machine search and I found her LinkedIn profile, which states that she is a basketball operations coordinator for the Boston Celtics. And that picture there matches up with the picture seen on Twitter. And with a tiny little bit of more sleuthing, I was actually able to find her LLC. Uh, she has a business by the name of um, Tidy and Bloom. And this is her LLC registration paperwork. So of course, you know, everybody who has an LLC definitely has an Instagram page. And lo and behold, so did she. And one of the images seen below, you can see Rachel here, which is the friend and Kathleen here, um, just taking a photo of themselves. You can also see that Kathleen posted a photo of her husband and her two little tiny babies, three little tiny babies seen here. So we definitely know this is Kath Kathleen's business page. Now, a ton of the reports stated that her husband works for the Boston Celtics. Not true. Her husband actually works for uh, Mercer Consulting Group, LLC. So mm, please don't leave it to the Internet to look for anything because they're awful. So this is her husband, Tyler Lynch. Uh, he's actually the man seen in the photo holding all the babies. And this is him. He has no zero affiliation that I could find with the Boston Celtics. So I think it's just her affiliation with the Celtics that got her caught up, allegedly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what do I think about this whole situation? Um, like I told you guys, me personally, I don't think this is anybody's business. 
if this young woman and Ime Udoka want to get it on, let them have their fun. I mean, like I told you, man, um, you know what? Alpha seed beta need, right? She already has her children by her husband. And let's be honest, she is out here looking to get her cheeks clapped, obviously, right? Um, and so is Ime Udoka. You know, it was reported that Ime's uh, fiance, longtime fiance, Nia Long, wasn't even living in Boston. And it's rumored that they had an open relationship. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, me personally, I don't feel like this information should have ever really gotten leaked. Like I said, I don't think this is anybody's business. This happens every day in corporate America, in the real world, man. People are going to sleep around, especially in the workplace. So my advice to Miss Kathleen Lynch's husband is, listen, man, if you want your wife and if you want to keep her, Keep her away from athletes, former athletes and NBA players, man. That's just my advice to you, though. So, yeah, um, as far as, you know, Jalen Rose making comments and then backtracking them, man, listen, we all know ESPN. They employ many, many feminists, right? Um, we heard Malika Andrews go at Stephen A. Smith when this situation first became public. Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What became apparent to me in this press conference is that we do not have all of the information here. And it was frustrating to me that the Celtics declined to elaborate or to give more specifics about what exactly the rule breaking was that led us to this point. So, so that I just want to get that out of the way first. But to answer your question, I, Molly, I think what stood ahead. out to me, I, I think what stood out to me is that Brad Stevens, he was upset. That's what stood out to me about what he termed uh, rampant Twitter uh, BS is the word that he used, that women were unfairly dragged into this within the Celtics organization. You could see that Brad Stevens was visibly upset about this. And I also found that to be gross and unnecessary, that folks were bringing in the names and the images of women that is just not a fact, that was purely speculation. And so to me, that is what stood out. But the Celtics as an organization could have done more. And short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference. I understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh, for everybody involved. And I appreciate the fact that they brought in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization. And I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it seems to me that they are trying to emasculate the men on ESPN. And it's as, it's about as clear as day, in my opinion. But listen, that's pretty much all I got on this topic, man. Um, Unfortunately for Jalen Rose, he had to apologize. But I know deep down, Jalen, you, you actually meant what you really said. And you only did that just so you wouldn't get fired. So it's all good over here, Jalen. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And yeah, man, what do you think about Ime Udoka potentially becoming the Brooklyn Nets? head coach crazy but that's pretty much all i got i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one this was another installment of the locker room peace